So hi everyone. I am uh, very very happy to have with me a student of ours from Dams Kolkata, Dr. Gosia, and she has secured an amazing rank 52 in NEET PG 2024. Heartiest congratulations, बच्चे कैसा लग रहा है? Thank you, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, uh, yesterday evening, like sorry, at night, I came to know of the rank. I was shocked. I was. like rechecking it again and again for one hour at least that oh this God. is my rank only oh. <laughs> because but then i got uh, like i received calls from my friends and they had also performed like well only so then i realized that no this is my rank only and uh, uh, overall i was in shock yesterday <laughs> that i had secured such a rank but i had performed well in ini previously so uh, based on that i kind of accepted that this is my rank. so now you are sure uh, uh, today you are sure that it is your rank <laughs> yes ma'am yes ma'am it took a lot of time to digest it but now i'm sure chalo that's great but yes that's true because you know the uh, this is one of the biggest competitive exams that we give and uh, you know it is important for us so getting a double digit rank in this exam is a you know is a tremendous task and i must congratulate you uh, for all the efforts and hard work that you have put in so uh, thank you ma'am yes gosia you have been a regular batch student with us at dams kolkata so uh, we would want to know something about your journey with us as well as your strategy that you have used to you know consistently get good ranks Ma'am, uh, I joined Dams in 2020, and okay. just like uh, two months after I joined Dams, there was COVID. So yeah. my entire course was online on e-medicals. So I studied everything on e-medicals. I because of lockdown, I could complete most of the course during the lockdown only. So yeah. uh, I and after I joined Dams, my performance in MBBS also improved a lot because. Uh, I used to perform average only in first year, but in third and final year, my marks dramatically increased, and uh -huh. that was because, and that was because of uh, dance faculty and the teaching. And uh, in internship, uh, our internship was very hectic in our college, so yeah. because of that, I had the material, but I could not manage my time properly, so I could not go well in my first attempt, which was during my internship. I scored uh, twenty three thousand, okay. and. Uh, so i decided to take a gap year and then also i joined a uh, house staff ship in my college but uh, okay. it was very difficult for me to manage job and preparing for neat pg so i had to leave it midway only and right. then i appear appeared for ini ct and i uh, secured decent ranks i secured 600 rank in uh, november ini and right. in this may ini i secured uh, 2000 rank nice so, thing uh, and uh, then um it need pg was supposed to happen but it got postponed but in a good way it was good only because i i got to revise the syllabus again and again and um and i used to perform uh, average not average like uh, above average only in all the grand tests but uh, in the main exam it was really like unexpected to receive this uh, to receive a double digit rank So yes, and you know now that I hear your journey, you have come from twenty three thousand to a rank of fifty two, which is like amazing. And uh, you know we would want to know that how did you uh, you know improve? Uh, and uh, you know this paper was something which was different from the previous paper as well. So um, how did you build up from this rank that you had last year to this one? so kuch batao apne notes kaise padte the test kaise dete the mcq kaise karte the ma'am actually i divided my uh, study into three parts first revision second revision and the last 15 day revision so mm -hmm. in the first revision it was for about 4 to 5 months that was the first read the second read was 45 days and the last read the rapid revision was 15 days and then on the last day i looked at my last look copy and then and uh, uh, my pre uh, prepa preparation was uh, mixed with pyq it was mainly pyq and pyt based and right. although i tried to uh, uh, cover everything that dams had taught but 
at the end when we are doing our final revision we have to focus on a few topics only yeah. so um in that way i managed wonderful and jab hum apne aap taiyari kar rahe the like you said you divided uh, your strategy into three revisions uh was every revision uh, you know you were taking a lesser time to wo kaise aap karte the for example you know you could have taken like 10 days for medicine in the first week in the first three days yes. then how did you reduce the time and can you give us some time frames that you took for big subjects medium subjects and short subjects uh yes ma'am in uh, uh when i was doing my first read it took 10 days for me to complete surgery but uh, in first, my okay and in the first reading you were going uh, right uh, anti grade from your notes right that is what yes, i yes ma'am yes ma'am and then in the second reading i targeted that i would complete surgery in 3 days so okay. um and then in the final revision i targeted that i should complete the whole all the important points from surgery in one one and a half days so this okay. is how i uh, uh, divided everything okay so do you follow the same for medicine and uh, the bigger subjects as well yes ma'am i try to condense my entire notes into a few like if i have 50 pages of notes i try to condense that into 10 to 20 pages uh, in a separate copy and then i used to read that during my rapid revision phase okay and uh, also how frequently were you giving uh, grant tests jab aap padh rahe the to aap sath sath kya dqb me se topic wise questions kar rahe the ya aap uh, test papers zyada kar rahe the gt zyada kar rahe the what was the strategy uh, there ma'am dqb i tried in the beginning but it was very like tedious so that is why i shifted entirely to previous year questions and to okay. gts because gt is used to cover everything that was there in the dqb also and then i used to review every gt that i appeared for and uh, uh, it took around one day to review each gt and i had a so wrong you, diary also right so when I, i was i was going to ask you when you say you reviewed your gt did you review all 19 subjects together and did you listen to the video solutions of all 19 subjects or selectively ma'am uh, i tried to like uh, find out all the questions first i reviewed the questions that were wrong then i used okay. to add those points in my notes and then uh, uh, i used to divide everything like first i look at a short subjects then final year subjects then first year subjects in that way i used to proceed okay and how uh, how did you change your gt frequency uh in the beginning my gt scores were stagnant my gt frequency was once a month and okay. then as and the exams approached what was the score in the beginning what was the score the scores beginning? were very average like the scores were about 338 340 something like that okay. 90 correct so, 98 correct 90 correct yes okay and, and that eventually, uh, and eventually, eventually the last cbt or the mock paper what was the number of correct in that a uh, man 160 correct i got 160, 160 correct in the last in the exact last mock test that i appeared in i got 160 correct and then i was like i'll get a decent rank with this and in the main exam we'll perform better than this so with yeah. keeping that in mind i went for the exam wonderful and uh, jab ye postponement ka news aaya right uh, uske baad yes, humne kya kiya you know <laughs> because that was a tough phase to also keep going and yes, uh, you know did you revise the dvt and what else did you do in that last time ma'am because i had left my job so there was an additional pressure that the exam is getting postponed again and again the parents are creating pressure that why did you leave your job now the exam is getting postponed it was it got preponed and then again postponed yes. and cancelled on the night before the exam so that was something that uh, i don't know anyone was prepared for that so uh, after each postponement we had to regroup and there was a like i used to make 60 day plans that in the next 60 days i do this and then i and then and because there were ini cities in november and may so because of main ini city i was on track if yeah. that exam wasn't there uh, i would have lost track because of the postponement that's true that's true and uh, again closer to the exam were you again reading uh, your notes itself ma'am for medicine for gynae and for surgery like the final year subject uh, right. i had decided that uh, in neat these subjects were, had more weightage that is why i yes. focused on these subjects and the first second and third and year subjects and short subjects 
i did not uh, like i focused on them but i to try to complete my entire notes for the final year subjects okay so you gave priority to your final third and fourth year subjects right yes sir okay great and now let's talk about the paper so which shift did you give your paper in morning or evening morning shift ma'am morning shift so some insight about the paper what how do you think this neat pg is different from the previous one because you've given both and yes. apparently this one is tougher and you have improved massively from 23000 to rank 50 right so what is your take and what do you think uh, really helped you sort of uh, you know uh, come back with flying colors ma'am uh, last year's paper was fairly on the easier side there were no time bound sections previous year topics like if i i had very limited preparation and i was able to solve that paper so yeah. like uh, th- that paper was designed in such a way that even a person with basic mbbs knowledge could solve that paper but this paper was different if someone went into the exam with minimal amount of preparation they would not be able to score high in this exam that was the main difference and time bound sections were there and uh, it was similar to i ni set i would say the way in which the questions were asked and uh, the topics also previous year questions were there but it was overall a very clever exam like i would appreciate the examiner they had prepared a very wonderful paper i would say mm-hmm. it tested everything overall yeah. and uh, um, it was not like last year's paper last year's paper was very superficial this paper was like it tested concept yes yes and depth of content absolutely application of concepts depth of content you know integration application i think this uh, yes, this paper was all about these things how many questions did you attempt gosia ma'am i attempted 199 questions okay and what do you think roughly would be an estimate of your number of correct questions i had initially calculated 172 something but i think it is much higher than that i i don't remember the exact but i after watching all the recalls i had watched recalls on youtube from uh, most platforms and i was getting something 172 175 in that range but i think the actual number is much higher okay great and uh, also now i want to ask you beta ki um what would be your uh, top 3 advices to someone who is going to appear for the exam next year ma'am my advice would be that uh, they should focus on their first reading and then based on that they should like everything one formula will not suit everyone so they yeah. should based on their abilities and w- their weak areas and their strengths they should decide that after my first read is done from dams or any other platform how will i condense this content and how will i p- uh, read this content again before the exam so that i can retain it in the exam and perform in the exam yes perfect and uh, anything uh, that you would want to say towards the end like uh, something that kept you going what was your motivation ma'am my motivation was just to appear for the exam because after a point in, of time uh, the postponements the preponements everything it was just taking a toll on on me my mental health there was so, so much uncertainty about the future so i yeah. just wanted to be like done with this exam <laughs> and then you finally did it. and you did it well right so that's what matters uh, what branch do you want to pursue gosia ma'am uh, before i appeared for the exam i was looking for gynecology but now i think i'll have to reconsider my choices and i think now i think i'll take medicine or derma okay, okay. fair uh, so i'm sure that you're going to do great uh thank you so much for making dams a part of your journey gosia it's been an absolute pleasure and i think every faculty at dams would uh, want to see you doing even better in life in future so all the very best for your future endeavors and uh, we'll meet soon thank you ma'am thank you thank you beta